you're ready to make this awesome crazy hat? I sure hope so. This is gonna be super fun for all of my artists here at Hancock Creek. Follow directions, follow the step-by-step, -step, and you're gonna have an awesome looking crazy hat just like mine. All right, guys, today is the day we are making our crazy hats. So let's talk about the supplies that we need to make this. You will need scissors. You're gonna need a glue stick. I don't need those right this minute, so I'm gonna set those off to the side. You're gonna need a pencil. You will need that shortly. We might need some extra paper strips. We'll use those for sure. And of course, your teacher is going to need a stapler. So the way you do this is you're gonna have a big piece of construction paper. Mine is 12 by 18 size. That is the size you'll need to fit a head. And I've practiced this for a long time. This came from a buddy of mine over at a nearby elementary school, the Crazy Hat Project. So the first thing you're gonna be looking at as the corners, the opposite corners, we're gonna to need to go across with a big old X, corner to corner. I find that works really good if you use a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but it needs to be close. What you're gonna do after that is you're gonna find the middle. So here's the center of the paper. I need to find the middle of this section right here, and I'm gonna write a little just kind of like X right through it. Your teacher might do this, or a little line might through it. I might come around as your teacher and do this for you in class. Otherwise, just find somewhere close to the middle. That's gonna be our no cut line. That means when I use my scissors here in a minute, I'm going to be cut, 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 cut until I get to one of those lines. Okay, so just try your best not to cut past that line. If you do, don't go very far. Otherwise, your hat might fit a little bit wonky. Don't worry, guys, we're gonna be really good. So these crazy hats, like I said, teachers will have to help you make them. Um, I'll be using two staples to do that. So I'm gonna be cutting. Oh, I got to the line and I stopped, okay? I'm gonna go to the other side, cut, 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 cut. Be careful with your scissors. It's just like they're driving on a track like a car. You wanna steer them straight and cut. And I might just cut right over that line just a tiny bit because I have big scissors, that's okay. And cut. All right, this is the step you're going to need to bring your paper over to a teacher. Normally we'd get out of our seats to do this, but today I'm gonna come over to you. So you just tell me when you're done by giving me some thumbs up signals. I will come over to you and staple. So here's how it will look. These two are gonna come together. And you take one staple, boom, right there. Turn it around, these two come together. It's kind of like we're making a big giant bow tie or a big piece of candy. You can see this is where the head is going to go. Now, if we need to make it smaller, say you try it on and say, oh no, Mrs. Hopkins, my goodness, this is way too big for my little bitty head. I can make it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit harder to make it bigger. Just try not to rip it if you're adjusting it, okay? I'd rather have it be bigger because you never know. We don't wanna make it too small. So now we have these two triangle pieces here. What's gonna happen next? You're gonna get your scissors out. And we're going to be dividing these into um, different fractions. So first we're gonna cut them in half. So I need you to kind of estimate what do you think the halfway point would be? I'm gonna say it's probably right here. I'm gonna cut a line all the way up just until the hat part would go on my head, just in this area. I'm not going inside of the hat, just to this part right here. Then I'm gonna say, okay, let's take this piece and split this in half. I think this is about half right here. Go all the way up. Same deal with the other side. I have four. I need to split them in half. I wonder how many we're gonna have when I'm done splitting them all in half. This needs to split in half again, so I have to make two pieces here. All the way up. Be careful not to accidentally cut it off. I think you guys can be super careful. Here we go. This one needs it. Okay, you're gonna make them like skinny little french fries from McDonald's, all right? Don't get hungry and accidentally eat your paper. That would be no good. If you accidentally cut one off, sometimes these ones on the end tend to go flying. It's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna be mad at you. You'll just have one curl short for your crazy hat. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. 
Now make sure that you do cut both sides of your crazy hat. You have to cut all the strips and you have to curl all the strips before you get to have new strips today. Okay, so now we have our paper strips on both sides of our hat. And what we're gonna to wanna to do right now is make sure that we write our names in the center of our hat. So if you haven't done that yet, grab something to write with and write your name right in the middle so you don't lose it or get it mixed up with somebody else's because that would be super sad if that happened. Write your name now. So I know we've got these paper strips here. We're gonna be actually calling these lines. So remember, right now they're straight lines, but we need to turn them into curls. And that's where our friend Mr. Pencil comes in handy. It's just a regular drawing pencil, and we're gonna curl some paper with it. You guys are gonna be doing a lot of curling today. You have to do one side, and then you have to go to the other side. So I'm gonna sit down in my nice art room chair and get ready to curl. I don't care where you start. You can start on the end if you wish. I'm going to start with that big curl that we were talking about in class. If you're not sure on how to do the curls, let's do a little curl demo, just a refresher. I've got three strips of construction paper here. One of them I'm going to call the big curl. So I think I'll do the pink one first. Big curl. That R looks a little bit silly. So this is going to be a long strip that curls all up on itself. I'm going to do this type of curl. The next one is going to be the tornado. Oh yeah. Okay, so that one is gonna be the spiral. It's gonna go loopy, loopy, loopies. This one, I don't have to use a pencil. That's going to be my zigzag. And that's gonna be the one that goes like a zigzag line, okay? We've talked about these you probably practiced lines like this before. Big curl, tornado, and a zigzag. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how they work on the paper strips. So let's say we're gonna go with big curl first. This is the one where you wrap it around your pencil in the same way. I'm gonna go up really close so you can see. It's the same space in the pencil. It just goes over the same spot over and over and over and over and also over again. If you're doing just a strip that's not attached to your hat, it's gonna come off like a little tube. Otherwise, it's gonna stay on your hat. We'll do this on the hat as well. And it comes out, and like I said, it's one big curl. You can stretch it out once, and you're gonna get a very, very circular shape. So there's our big curl. Very popular curl at Hancock Creek. Here is our tornado. This one is a little bit tricky. It has been tricky for years, but I know my students can do this. So I usually do it with two hands. It might help you to wrap it around with the other hand. This is kind of like I told the kids I used to play with straw wrappers if we went to like fast food places and I would curl them around my finger. This is where we learned the tornado trick. See how it covers the entire pencil? Well, when you take this one out and you stretch it out, you're gonna get a nice spiral curl. Looks like a tornado, huh, right? And of course, this one does not require a pencil at all, so I can put that guy down. This is the zigzag. The zigzag is the one where you're folding it forward and you're folding it back, a little section at a time. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. If you keep just trying to fold it the same direction, that's not gonna work. It needs to go back and forth, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. When you open it, you'll get that back and forth, up and down zigzag line. Those are those three curls. I'm gonna put them on the hat right now. So the big curl, I'm just going to wrap around the same space. Oh yeah, the hat makes a nice scraping sound on the table. When you pull it out, just like you're curling your hair in the morning, be careful not to rip it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the tornado. This is the one where it needs to wrap around the pencil, so you need to make it longer. They're a little bit shorter on the hat, so you're not gonna be able to go down the whole pencil. Pull it out carefully. You can stretch it out a little bit. You'll see your baby tornado there. And of course, the back and forth zigzag. I'm gonna do a tiny little fold back and forth, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards then you're gonna get that wonderful zigzag line. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my whole hat so that you guys can see what it should look like when it's done. 
Then I'll take my extra curls here, use my glue stick, and I'm going to attach those with my glue stick. Um, you're gonna have to count to about 30 seconds when you're attaching any curl, and I only want you to attach one curl at a time. Don't go and grab a bunch of paper strips because you might not have time to use them all. So one at a time, go ahead, sit back and watch Mrs. Hopkins curl this awesome crazy hat. Always make sure that you get your glue stick on. Let's talk about glue sticks. Do not do this to your glue stick. It is not chapstick. It does not want you to twist it all the way up. You will hate your glue stick if it breaks because I might not be giving you a new one. I certainly won't give you a new one if you make yours dry out. So cap it and cap it tight. Take care of your art supplies, including glue sticks and scissors. Safety with scissors always first in the art room. Thank you. Artists, if you made it to this point today, we are all finished with our hats, so let's try them on and see how we look. And that's all there is to it. I've got my curls up here. I can wear it any direction I want. This is my personal favorite. I like showing off all I've got. I wonder who could have the craziest hat in your class. We will see. Remember, you can only add one curl at a time. Make sure you count to 30 seconds when you're adding the curls on top. Okay, both sides need to be curled, the paper that we cut, before you guys get an extra paper strip, okay? I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see how you curl all of your lines. <laughs>